All around Santa Cruz, you can find people having fun and interacting together in a variety of different ways. Dance plays a large part in the community, bringing people of all races and ages together. People are drawn to dance for a variety of reasons, ranging from just wanting a form of exercise to wanting a way to have fun. People from around Santa Cruz commented on why they chose dance specifically. Dancing kind of comes in just with any other kind of activity or sport, and it just helps you release all the tension and stress that you've had, and just kind of clear your mind from like all that math. Just um, it's just another outlet for people, you know, whether it be surfing or hiking or salsa dancing. It brings a lot of joy, exercise, new friendships. For me. This class represented an opportunity for me to become more in touch with my cultural roots. It gives students an opportunity to be a part of a team, and it's something that you get exercise out of, you get to have fun, and you have a bunch of friends. So, what I came to find in my life was my passion for culture, dance, and bridges that are created to the arts, and how it's so much more powerful than, say, sitting in down and having Coming in, uh, I knew uh, the scene here is kind of a uh, week for uh, hip hop and breaking, so I was like, the uh, best way to practice and still be a part of a, a team and uh, keep on doing what I'm doing is uh, find a club. So. Has brought a community and a family. Not only a community, but I want to call it a family because I guess that we all get to know each other and we get to hang out together, we get to exercise and just learn. Santa Cruz as a city is a very eclectic place on its own, but the dance community brings even more people together, resulting in a center where all cultures meet. All of the dance communities have different ways of achieving this, ranging from the Mexican folklore club and a tannery bringing in people from all around the world, to salsa by the sea and the break dance club, who focus more on bringing the community of Santa Cruz together. I think it's really important that when maestros do in fact come in, they teach us not only the dance itself, but a little bit about the history. And um, the history can be with respect to a number of things, um, maybe the population, the demographics of the region itself, the colonial history to it. So it's really important to familiarize ourselves with these things in order to better understand what the symbolic, uh, what the symbolism is behind the dance itself. For me, my joy is bringing them <laughs> to Santa Cruz or artists who are from San Francisco who are teaching up there and we want to bring them down here too. So really, you know, creating a space where they can come here and some people, folks in Santa Cruz who are traveling can see them. And uh, we get people from Monterey, local people here in Santa Cruz, and we get people from South San. In the summertime, we get people all the way from San Francisco. And, um, that's our season, it gets pretty fast, it's so much fun. So, Salt by the Sea on Sundays is for the community, for the local people here, especially people with families and, like I said, with older ages. They can come and get to enjoy it. It's still the like daytime and it's beautiful out. And, yeah, you get to meet all kinds of people. Definitely, you get to meet a lot of Santa Cruz locals too that are in the hip hop community. You know, not just breakdancing, but like the other elements such as. DJing, uh, graffiti, and um, yeah, whenever there's events, we just go check them out, and you know, you kind of just network like that. So I definitely encourage anyone who is really into hip hop to come through. So I think for the community and for the campus itself, it's a way to, I guess, promote that cultural diversity and allow for like the Latino community or even those who don't necessarily belong to it to come more in touch with this form of dance to get to know a little bit of Mexico's history. It's been, uh, it's a great community that. All cultures come together, every race, religion, doesn't matter, right? They just come together. Dance is a form of expression, allowing people to develop their own identities while interacting with lots of different people. In Santa Cruz, it's brought a sense of family and formed friendships that will last lifetimes. We're all dancers. It's a primal thing. All do it. And for me, that's like, you know, everyone's welcome. Like if you want to be goofy when you dance, you know, be goofy. If you want to be like an aggressive, serious type of dude, then be serious aggressive. Like you could definitely express your emotions, your mood, and um, create whatever art form you want to create. And yeah, you just feel good when you dance, you know? And like it's just you, you just dance and you're just having fun. Dancing kind of changes where you are and like where you live and like the community around you. So like I'm from SoCal myself, so that's more um, urban, more uh, city-like, more so than um, 
Santa Cruz, of course, which is all nature. Mm -hmm. So like seeing the different styles here shows that, you know, shows kind of who you are and how, where you're from. Um, um, but all the different girls have a lot of different strengths and we have different interests and it's nice to like kind of, you know, do your own thing. And we actually have a lot of OCSC students who come and you can get dressed up. You know, that doesn't happen a lot in Santa Cruz. But you can. You can wear your fancy shoes and your cute skirt and you come out with your man and you have your little wine and you do your thing. 21. But so, yeah, it's, it's like there's so much here. Don't miss it. <laughs> I'm Anna Meyer from Banana Slug News. 